Hi guys, it's Karen again and today I want to show you this candid foundation by Revlon I have it in the color 220 and I want to try it for the whole day and see if it lasts how it performs uh, it's a natural finish anti-pollution foundation I've tried it before it's not completely full color called sand beige okay so I'm going to try start with the primer by Tony Moly silky smooth balm I love it it looks like an egg I really love it um, you open it it looks like a cream. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a cream. Clean hands, of course. I apply to my face. I try to cover only the necessary places. I don't like covering my whole face with primer. I'm going to use it on my cheeks. But I think the best thing is to apply it and warm it with your fingers like that and then apply it. It's the best application. Okay, so I applied it to most of my face, even though I didn't want to, but it turns out like that. So this was the primer by Tony, Tony Moly. Holy moly! Okay, so as I said, this is the Candid Foundation by Revlon. None of these items are sponsored by PR or any other kind. I bought them myself just to make it clear. I'm putting three pumps on the back of my hand and with a damped sponge, I'm going to apply it to my face. As you can see, the color is beautiful, but it doesn't really cover all the blemishes. I, I took three shots of foundation, and it should be enough of my face very 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 light coverage as you can see okay as you can see very very light cover coverage sorry I'll put another pump so this is the fourth pump I want to try and build it to have higher coverage of my nose well it is definitely buildable put a bit more on my forehead it covered the blemishes partially but I'm not going to put a third coat it's too much okay so now I'm going to use a concealer this is the infumble concealer more than concealer by L'Oreal in the color 330 I'm going to dot just small dot in the sides of my eyes in the inner corner and outer corner and a bit on my nose and forehead and chin I usually use a lighter version but today I decided to go with the darker one I also have number 326, which is very, very bright for me. 
and I use it not under the eyes but as a brightener okay so we're concealing under the eyes as you can see still have very very dark circles around my eyes okay so let's prime the eyes I'm using the Essence Eye Love Stage Eye Primer I'm going to put a thin coat under my eyes And use the. Going to use a brush to When I do it to sponge, it usually takes too much of the product. Okay, now um, I'm going to use the powder from this Ofra Pro Palette. This is how it looks like after many, many uses. And I will take this banana powder here. I'm going to put it on over eye primer and a bit on my face, especially under the eyes, with petting motions. And don't use that much, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's jump and do the eyebrows. I'm using an angle brush and I'm going to use the browns in the Ofra palette, these two. The lighter one goes where I have a lot of hair and the darker one where I don't have a lot of hair. So I'll start with the lighter one. Okay. I'm using an angle brush. I found it very easy to apply. The shadow. Now I'm taking the darker one and I'm using it where I don't have a lot of hair on my eyebrow. Some bronzer. Also I'm taking the bronzer from the palette. It is called Versatile Matte Bronzer. This one. As you can see I used it a lot. And I'm putting it above the bone, which is a proper place to put the bronzer. If I would put contour, put it below the bone. But I'm not contouring, I'm just bronzing, just warming up my face a little. Not a lot. Just with a small dust. And from the same palette, I love this palette a lot, it's very useful, I'm taking the blush, it's called Charm, this one here, as you can see I use it a lot, I'm taking a bit and I'm putting on the cheeks and up on the cheeks and up apples maybe okay it's a very 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 dark blush okay so for highlighter I will definitely use the highlighter here so we can use either Rodeo Drive or Blissful so this one the little one here is Blissful this is Rodeo Drive I'll use Rodeo Drive I love this highlighter. It 
it's goldy toned it's very flattering bit on my nose cupid bow and this is it okay so now we arrived to the eyeshadow and I'm using eyeshadow palette by AWB Makeup. It's called the Game Changer Eyeshadow Palette. It has 15 shades, as you can see here. And I'll open it. Also, you can see that it's used. Okay, I'll cover this so you can see better. Okay. So they are mattes and shimmers, beautiful, beautiful palette. Uh, let's make, um, I think I'll use most of the colors in the middle section here. Here, this one. And I'm putting it on the crease. Here's a transition color. I have to use a very colorful, colorful transition color. It's not going to be a monochronomic kind of look. A bit of pop of color. So you can see the matte formula is wonderful. Put it all over the crease. Like so, let's take a bit more. Okay, now for my outer corner, I'm going to use a different brush and I'll use this swatch. That's the color, this burgundy. It's called swatch. I'm going to put it in the outer corner of my eye look at that color it's amazing I love it a lot so I'm using it in the outer, outer corner of my eyes Okay, now from the same palette, I'll take this one over here, the first one here, it's called Lit, you see it? Okay, I have to cover the mirror. Okay. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to put it on my inner corner of the lid. Wow, it's amazing! I love this color! I love this color combo. I love this palette. What's not to love about it? It's perfect. Okay, so let's use a blending brush and blend the edges. So let's make it a bit seamless. To, I'm not making an elaborate eye look. I'm not using cut crease. It's going to be simple. The objective of this video is to see how the makeup performs during the day. Okay, so I'll take some of again from the color swatch. Love the name of it. It's a dark burgundy, and put it under my eye. In the half outer portion, and in the inner corner, I'm going to apply the lighter color lit.
basically copying the color scheme I did on the lid like so um, okay so this is the game changer palette okay so now we have to put some mascara I'm using the Rimmel wake me up love this type of brushes I tried flat ones I didn't really like them so sticking to the ones that I like I'm putting a thin coat since I'm not going to leave the house but still in the corona month corona crisis I'm not allowed to go outside, so just putting a thin coat so my lashes will be visible. Without this, you won't see my lashes. Okay, and I forgot to bring lipstick, so we'll put some of this bronzer by Maybelline uh, so we have some color it's not meant for the lips but <laughs> I didn't have any here so this is the final look look at the Makeup it looks perfect. Okay, so I will say goodbye for now and I'll catch you up in a few hours. Hi guys, it's Karen again. Well, we passed the six hour mark and I just wanted to share with you the results of the word test. So, as you can see, the only thing I changed is the lipstick. If you look closely, you can see that my face are red. Which means that the makeup has faded away. And it's not good. Definitely not good. Uh, I look very, very red. And... Um, not saying good things about this makeup which but after six hours you would expect that I my face will be the same as they were and they are not so I'm kind of disappointed from this makeup I will give it another try on another day and I will let you know the final results but for now I'm very disappointed I expected more maybe I should put another coat so next time I will try a heavier a heavier coat that maybe will remain on my skin. Okay, so that's all for me now. So see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. See you. Bye bye.